Hi, I'm Alicia Gaspar de Alba. I'm a professor at UCLA of Chicana and Chicano Studies, English and Women's Studies, and I wrote a novel called Desert Blood, The Juarez Murders, that is about the epidemic of uh, young women and girls who've been violently uh, slaughtered on the U.S.-Mexico border since 1993. And it's a mystery novel, and I'd like to share the first chapter with you. The rope tightened around her neck, and she felt her belly drag over sand and rocks, the wound on her breast pricked by sagebrush. She was numb below the waist, and her face ached from the beating. One of them had given her an injection, but she could still move her arms and wedge the tips of her fingers under the noose. They'd stuffed her bra into her mouth, and the hooks in it hurt her tongue. When the car stopped, her head slammed against something hard. The pain stunned her, and she was crying again, but suddenly she felt nothing in her arms. The numbness spread quickly up her spine, her jaw, her belly, everything felt dead. They shut off the car lights and let her lie there in the dark, inhaling the fumes coming out of the tailpipes. Her tongue tasted of metal. All she could do was blink her eyes. The stars looked like the city lights, and for a moment, she felt like she was hanging upside down, all the blood rushing to her ears, making her face hot. She remembered the ride at the fair, the hammer, it was called, and the other girls had warned her not to get on, said she would throw up, but she didn't. She'd fainted instead, and woke up in the back of this car with a man hitting her face, and another one she recognized from the factory, pushing a syringe into her stomach. For a second, her eyes were seared by a sharp light, and then she saw their faces, like large silver coins, so bright she didn't see what was glinting in their fists until they were on top of her. The, the drug they had given her made her feel like she was underwater. She could not feel the blades slicing into her belly. She saw blood splashing, heard the tearing sound like the time she'd had a tooth pulled at the dentist's office, something torn out by the roots deeper than the drug, felt a current of night seep into her, deep into her belly, her guts hanging open. She tried to scream, but someone hit her on the mouth again, and someone else stabbed into the bag of water and bones. That's all it is, the nurse at the factory once told her, a bag of water and bones. They were laughing, but she could hear someone singing a woman's voice singing. Sana, sana, colita de rana, si no muere hoy, que se muera mañana. Heal, little frog's tail, heal. If you don't die today, may you die tomorrow. It sounded like her own voice. <laughs>